Hey there, welcome back to the More Than a Mother show. This is your host, LaJuan Moses, and I am so glad to be here with you again today. As we wrap up our series on mom guilt, I am bringing to you a few more mothers that just wanted to share their number one piece of advice and their best tips on surviving mom guilt. We have everything from stay-at-home moms to entrepreneurs to moms that are just out here getting it. So let's take a listen to what these moms had to say were their best tips on surviving mom guilt. Hey friends, welcome to the More Than a Mother Triumph After Trauma podcast. I am your host, LaJuan Moses, and I am a mom on a mission to help you work through unresolved trauma and combat stagnation so you can unleash your full potential and manifest the life and business of your dreams. Join me each week for tangible tips, tools, and strategies you can use to master your mindset and overcome obstacles in motherhood, business, and life as well as inspiring interviews from moms just like you who are sharing their own stories of triumph in order to uplift, encourage, and empower you on your motherhood and business ventures. At More Than a Mother Triumph After Trauma podcast, we believe you can pursue your dreams and be a great mom at the same time. We are helping you to let go of the past so you can live fully and freely in the present and create the future you desire. If you are enjoying the show, feeling inspired and motivated, learning something new, or just want to show some love, please do me a favor and help me spread the word. Screenshot this episode and share your takeaways in your Instagram stories. Don't forget to tag me at LaJuan Moses so I can share your share. Each time you share the show, it helps me to reach more and more moms just like you. Don't keep this greatness to yourself. Tell a mama you know about the More Than a Mother Triumph After Trauma podcast today. Remember, we are all in this together. Are you ready, mama? Let's go. Today we have Ellie Redcloud from Colorado Springs, Colorado, owner and operator of Redcloud Strategic Business Consulting. Let's hear what Ellie had to say was her number one tip for surviving and overcoming mom guilt. My name is Ellie Redcloud, and I am in, located in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I am a mother of five children, ranging in age from 13 to four years old. And one, my one piece of advice for getting over mom guilt, and man, I have had it so bad, but my one piece of advice for getting over mom guilt is to trust yourself. And when I say trust yourself, what I mean is that you're a mo- you are a mother first before anything else. You've carried these children for nine months, or if you didn't, if you've adopted them, whatever the case may be, you're a mother, and you know what's best for them. You have your best interest, their best interest at heart. You know that you are never going to do anything to put your children in any type of danger, to hurt your children in any way, or to cause them any type of detriment or harm, that you're not going to do that by virtue of simply being a mother. We have something that is internally built into us that makes us automatically protective of our children. So trust that. Trust that. Trust that you going to this networking event across the country. Trust that you having to miss oh, one ball game because you have something you have to attend. Trust that you having to stay up late this one night is not being detrimental to your children because nine times out of ten, no, take that back, ten times out of ten, as mothers, when we are doing this, we are building this, it is to create a better life for our children, to create a legacy for them that they can be proud of something that they can grow on and have and so trust yourself when you're doing something you know you're not being detrimental to your children because you're their mother so trust that always trust that all right that's it bye wow ellie thank you for stopping by and sharing that powerful and great piece of advice with us i really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to drop by and leave a message for our audience. Joining us next is Miss Naisha Walker, the fearless mommy herself. Let's hear what Naisha had to say is her number one piece of advice for overcoming mom guilt. My name is Naisha Walker. I am from Cincinnati, Ohio, but I currently live in Marietta, Georgia. 
and I would say the number one thing for me overcoming uh, mom guilt was just coming to the realization that I come first and in that I mean in order for me to take care of everyone else I had to learn the importance of taking care of myself first so um, you know sometimes it's easier said than done it definitely takes baby steps and that's kind of what I did but for any mom out there I would say struggling with mom guilt just think about it in the sense of um, you know if you were sick who's gonna take care of the kids ultimately it's the mom so in that case you have to do for you before you can do for anybody else thank you Naisha for that wonderful piece of advice Next up, we're traveling to Georgia to hear from Ms. Bridget Bray of Bridget Bray Consulting. Bridget is offering up her number one piece of advice on overcoming mom guilt. Let's take a listen to what she had to say. Hi, I am Bridget Bray and I am from Warner Robins, Georgia. And I would have to say my number one piece of advice for overcoming mommy guilt is just realizing that I am a person, I was a person before I came, became a mother, and I still deserve to be happy. So I take that in heed and making sure that I give myself my mommy time. Um, and I make sure that I take care of me because of course I can't take care of anybody else if I'm not in a place where I can take care of myself. And we all want the best for our kids and the best way to do that is to make sure that we can give them what they need by making sure we are who we need to be so just making sure you you know take care of yourself and remember you are a person you're not just a mom you are a woman so take care of yourself out there ladies bye thank you Bridget for that great piece of advice up next we have Ahuva Hirschkamp from Canada let's take a listen to what Ahuva has to say. I'm a dietitian who supports parents in reducing the overwhelm uh, when it comes to feeding their families. So my, uh, you know, one piece of advice for parents is not to feel like you need to make everything at home or everything from scratch for it to be a balanced meal for your family. There's lots of ways that we can work together with convenience items or with items from the grocery store um, to create a balanced meal because often your know, parents feel like the only way that they can feed their families a healthful meal is to make it completely from scratch. Um, my Instagram handle is at ahuva, A-H-U-V-A-R-D, which stands for Registered Dietitian. So you can feel free to check that out there more. And I also have a free community of moms on Facebook. It's called The Busy Mom's Guide to Feeding Your Family. Thank you, Ahuva, for stopping by and sharing that great advice with us. We'll be sure to stop by Facebook so we can check out those meal plans and those things that you have for all of us busy moms. Want to connect with me before the next episode drops? Join me over on Instagram and Facebook at Lawan Moses. As part of my community, and as you scroll my feed, you will find inspiration, mom life and tips, my family, some fun things, and lots of love. I am so excited and can't wait to build my community with all of you. Head over to Instagram and Facebook now and find me at Lawan Moses and be sure to hit that follow button. I can't wait to connect with you. Next, we have Danielle Harris Davis, all the way from Houston, Texas. Danielle is a new mom, but she stopped by to offer some advice on how she is dealing with overcoming mom guilt. Let's take a listen to what Danielle had to say. I'm Danielle Davis, and I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, but I currently reside in Houston, Texas. As a new mom, one piece of advice I'd like to give other moms to help overcome mom guilt is to simply grant yourself some grace. I'm still working on this myself. However, I figured out that when I just take a step back and acknowledge that I'm doing the very best that I can, the amount of guilt I feel about all the things related to my baby just seems to diminish. So grant yourself some grace. 
Thank you, Danielle, for that great piece of advice. And I hope you are enjoying your brand new baby. Next up, we have Dr. Stephanie Young Moss. Let's take a listen to what Dr. Stephanie had to say. Hi, this is Dr. Stephanie Young Moss. And one way I like to make sure that I overcome mommy guilt is to know that my family needs me first. They need me as a whole being and they want to make sure that I am right mentally and physically because if I'm not, I can't take care of my family. So I make sure that I take care of myself, whether it's my mental health, my physical health, and also by practicing self-care. That way I can be 100% for my family and taking care of their needs. If my needs aren't met first, then my family cannot be uh, taken care of or at the best of my ability. Thank you, Dr. Stephanie, for that wonderful advice. If you haven't had a chance, I suggest you check out Dr. Stephanie over on Instagram as she gives some of the best health and wellness tips that you can find, just helping us all just get ourselves together and get our health right. Thank you again, Dr. Stephanie, for joining us. All this advice we are receiving has just been great so far. I hope you're getting as much out of this as I am. The moms that are just joining us and stopping by and giving these great and wonderful words of advice, words of encouragement, words of wisdom have just done so much to me throughout this whole series. Next, we're going back to Texas to hear from Miss Virginia. Let's hear what Virginia had to say. It's her best piece of advice for overcoming mom guilt. Hi, Luan. This is Virginia. I am in Plano, Texas. And one piece of advice that I have for moms facing mom guilt or trying to overcome mom guilt, because let's just be honest, we all have it. We all suffer through it. The advice I would like to offer is to just recognize that no matter how often you are or aren't there or feel that you did or didn't make the right connection or read the right book at bedtime or whatever it is that you're feeling guilty about, look at the love in your kid's eyes when they look up at you. Realize that no matter what you think or how good of a job you think you're doing, That's your judgment upon yourself. Your child is not judging you. At this point in their lives, you are their everything. They look at you with the most admiration and love and dependency that they will ever have on anyone. You are their world. And so regardless of what you think or what kind of comparison game you are playing in your own head, realize that that's in your own head and that it's okay and that no matter what your child loves you they don't know any different they don't know that the mom next door is you know doing a better job than you or whatever so take a look at your child's eyes when they look up at you and see that sparkle and see that love and recognize it and reflect it back to them Thank you, Virginia, for sharing that awesome piece of advice with us. You can catch Virginia over on Instagram at Happy Healthy Abundance. And I just encourage you to go check out her page and see all the greatness that lies within. Next up, we have Miss Crystal Clark of Crystal Clark Creative. I call Crystal the Dubsado Queen. If you need to get your systems right, you need your customer relations management system going. One, I recommend Dubsado because it is just the best. But then two, you need to check out all the great things that Crystal has going on because she is truly the queen of Dubsado. Along with being the queen of Dubsado, she is also a mom. So let's hear what Crystal had to share with us as her number one piece of advice for overcoming mom guilt. The biggest tip that I can give for overcoming mom guilt is to stop and take inventory. Nine times out of ten, if you stop and take inventory and look at the things that you're doing and the time that you're spending, 
you'll quickly become um, put yourself in the realization that you're doing everything for your kids and for your significant other and for your husband and that's actually we look at it nothing to feel guilty about because you're already doing the things that are contributing to the livelihood and health and benefit of your family and then at that point what you need to do is take inventory of how you're taking care of yourself and ask yourself am i giving myself the same care that i give everyone else because even though you feel guilty also have to take care of yourself too and you have to take inventory because you're already doing the things that it takes to take care of everyone else thank you crystal for that dynamic advice um, again i recommend that you check out the dubsado queen herself and if you want to learn more about Dubsado and how it can help you in your business, I will link to it in the show notes. Check it out. It will definitely help you streamline your processes and get your business flowing smoothly. Thanks again, Crystal. Has trauma impacted your life? Do you find yourself stuck, discouraged, and struggling to work through unresolved trauma? Have you completely lost sight of your dreams and are unsure of what steps to take next? Whether you are currently dealing with trauma, working through your trauma, or simply at a point in life where you are ready to set and achieve your personal and professional goals, Rising Above Statistics is the book you need in your life right now. In Rising Above Statistics, From Trauma to Triumph, I share steps that I follow to transform my trauma as a teen mom living in poverty and dealing with depression, into growing into a strong, successful businesswoman who lives every day with purpose, intention, and focus. Through stories, tips, and guided exercises, I show you how you can transform your trauma, master your mindset, and unleash your full potential in business and life. In these pages, you'll discover why your mindset matters, how to overcome obstacles, and how to let go of the past. Most importantly, you're gonna find out how you can reclaim power over your life today. This book goes beyond my personal story and inside the pages are filled with tips, tools, and strategies you can use to release the past and live freely in the present. If you are in need of a plan to help you get unstuck and transform your life, then this book is for you. You do not have to be a victim of your trauma. You can work through your trauma and rise above your obstacles in order to achieve success against all odds. Head on over to my website, luanmoses.com and grab your copy of Rising Above Statistics from Trauma to Triumph today. Joining us today is Karen from karensincerely.com. Let's hear what Karen had to say as her number one piece of advice for surviving mom guilt. Hi, my name is Karen, I'm from New Jersey, and my number one tip for surviving mom guilt is to stop being so hard on yourself. We're all trying to do it all, and you need to just give yourself the grace to know that you're not perfect, and nothing is perfect, and that you're doing the best job that you can. Thank you, Karen, for that amazing piece of advice. I appreciate you stopping by and lending your advice to our audience today. Joining us today, all the way from Fort Worth, Texas, is Miss Margie. Let's take a listen to what Margie had to say is her best piece of advice for overcoming and surviving mom guilt. Hey there, my name is Margie Aymiron and I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. And my one piece of advice for overcoming and getting through the mom guilt, which I don't think it'll ever go away, but I really like to focus on quality time instead of the amount, uh, the quantity of time that I spend with her. So um, I feel that as long as you have quality time with them and you get on the floor with them and play or read a book and you know put all the other distractions down and just focus on them, um, I feel that has a great impact um, because you get that one-on-one -on -one time with your kids. Thank you, Margie, for that great piece of advice. Next up, we have Miss Erica of the Live Rich Movement. Let's hear what Erica has to say is her best piece of advice for overcoming mom guilt. Hi, guys. My name is Erica Lasan of ericalasan.com. And the one piece of advice that I have for overcoming mom guilt is recognizing that I can't be good for anyone if I'm not good for myself. So that means taking moments of self-care to love on myself, taking moments of quiet to listen to my own thoughts. <laughs> that also means 
taking at least an hour a day to do something creative that makes me happy and also just recognizing the things that speak to me in a way that um, really help me remember who I am, you know? Uh, in doing this, I am able to fully access all of who I am so that I can be the best in all of who I am for my children, my husband, and the community at large. Thank you, Erica, for that great advice. Coming up to us next is someone I met through her amazing stock photo membership that she has, Miss Kayla Butler of Ivory Mix. If you need some photos to help get your business right, to help make your graphics pretty, and even some courses and systems and captions and things to help you up your game on social media, I definitely recommend that you check out Miss Kayla of Ivory Mix. Along with delivering great stock photos to her membership club over and over again, multiple times. I mean, I just don't know how she does it because every time I look up, I'm getting some new, wonderful, beautiful stock photos in my inbox. And along with all these photos that she takes, she is also a mother. So let's hear what Kayla has to say is her number one piece of advice for overcoming mom guilt. To answer the question, how do you overcome mom guilt? I have a few, few very simple steps. Basically, I like to look at things factually and then provide proof to myself of why those are the facts because a lot of times when we have guilt surrounding something especially mom guilt it usually has to do with a fear a fear of not being the best mom we can a fear of not making our kids feel as loved as they could or something along those lines and usually fear can be overcome and guilt can be overcome by looking at things truthfully. So if I have a guilt or a fear around something regarding being a mom, mom guilt, I will lay out a piece of paper. On one side I will write what the guilt is, why I'm feeling guilty, what is it that I'm truly afraid of, what's making me feel that way, and realize that guilt is just different than regret. If I regret not giving more to my kids or if I regret not having more time, is it truly guilt or is it regret? Guilt means that I did something almost on purpose and um, usually that's not the case. It's usually regret, not guilt. So I take out my piece of paper and I write down what is it that I'm really fearing right now? Is this truly guilt or is this um, just a regret of mine? And then write that out in a full paragraph or maybe a few sentences. And then on the other side, I write down what are the facts? What's the truth? Do I fear that my kids will think less of me as a mother? Do I fear that I will make them feel less loved? Do I fear that I don't have enough time and that I'm failing somehow? And what's the truth? Is it true that I'm doing the best that I can? Is it true that I could ask someone for help? Is it true that I could uh, reach out to, you know, my husband or someone for um, a little a, a hand in something? Is it true that I'm doing the best that I can? And really write out what's true versus why am I having regrets and why am I feeling guilty? And usually when I have one side of the paper that says what I fear and the other side of the paper that says what's actually true, I start to feel a little better. And I start to come to the realization that I'm in control <laughs> and things aren't really as bad as they are and I can make a plan of action to make things better and improve things if I'm not happy. And so it adds a little motivation uh, for improving as well, as, as well as improving my mood. So that those are my tips. Thank you, Kayla, for that dynamic and wonderful advice that you have given to all of us. I definitely recommend that everyone head on over to the Ivory Mix 
and check out Kayla's wonderful stock photos. They are so unique, of great value, and of great quality. Head on over to her website, theivorymix.com, and when you head over there, you'll see an offer to get 500 free stock photos. Well, over 500 free stock photos delivered direct to your inbox, so you can check out her work before you even think about subscribing to a membership. I'll link to that in the show notes that you can get your free stock photos and also check out the great membership option that she has available. When it comes to quality and quality content and delivery, Kayla definitely goes above and beyond all of that. So definitely go and check her out. Thanks again, Kayla. Do you want immediate access to new episodes, products, events, and freebies? Join the More Than a Mother community today. Head on over to LawanMoses.com. That's www.lawanmoses.com and join my community today. This is just so fantastic. This series is just warming my heart. I know I keep saying it, but I am just so excited, so thrilled, so happy with all these moms that are just stepping up, making this a true community and just sharing advice to help another mom out. When one of us wins, we all win. I just encourage all my moms to just keep on pushing, keep on going and keep pouring into one another because we've got this mamas no matter how hard the journey seems, no matter how difficult it is, mamas, we truly have this. And by one piece of advice, by one piece of advice, piece by piece, we are piecing this all together. And mamas, we are taking a stand and saying, mom guilt no more. I am just happy and thrilled. I know I keep saying it, but I truly am. Just thank you so much to all the moms that have just contributed to this and have made this a success so far. I just truly appreciate all of you. Next up, we have Ariel Simmons that is joining us from Chicago, Illinois. Let's take a listen to what Ariel had to say. It's her number one piece of advice for overcoming mom guilt. My main piece of um, advice for surviving through mom guilt would be to allow yourself some grace. I know I have experienced firsthand and still experience to this day feeling guilty for especially, you know, reprimanding my son or yelling at him when I have a rough day or when he's just throwing a tantrum and I literally like am up to my wits end with trying to deal with him through tantrums. I'll just, you know, yell at him or or get frustrated and, and he and he sees that frustration and I just feel horrible after so I would just say allow yourself some grace and I know I have to sometimes take a minute and, and try to um, you know intentionally try to calm down or try to be more intentional as far as um, showing him the the calm side of, of reprimanding and disciplining as opposed to me lashing out and me screaming or yelling um, because I'm just that frustrated or stressed. So allowing ourselves grace will help us to, you know, be understand that we're human and know that you know there's no blueprint there is no handbook rule book to, to parenting you know it's a we 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 are going through these phases with our little ones and you know we're human at the end of the, at the end of the day so just knowing that you know it's one day at a time take it a day at a time and just know that okay we can just be more intentional about how we approach discipline or whatever is the cause of our mom guilt just being more aware of it and being more intentional as far as trying to be better at the approach and um, be better with how we handle certain things that actually give and have us feeling that mom guilt. So I think that's the biggest advice I would give because I know I know it definitely helps me when I'm more aware. Okay, you know he's doing this and this is happening. So how how can I be better at responding? That way, in the end, I don't feel feel that guilt and I don't feel so hard on myself because I know I handled it. I handled the situation better. Thank you so much, Ariel, for that wonderful piece of advice. Wrapping up our Mom Guilt series is Miss Christine Scrigley from Canada. Let's see what Christine had to say is her number one piece of advice for overcoming and surviving Mom Guilt. 
My name is Christine Shrigley. I own Body Health Coach. I am from Ontario, Canada, near Niagara Falls. And the piece of advice that I have for overcoming mom guilt is I actually have two. The first one is being that it's okay to be selfish. Because if you don't look after you, who else is going to, right? You have to put yourself first. I learned this years ago when I made time to be in the gym daily because that was my bread and butter for my mental health and helping me function at my best with a clear head. And I know you asked for one, but there really is a second one that's really helped me overcome guilt in my entire life. And you know what? It's not caring what other people think because we do get so caught up in what people think. And I personally never did, and I'm not quite sure why. And so now, right now, I struggle with my 12-year-old daughter to help her get over that because she does care what other people think. And I've always told her, as long as you're doing the right thing by the man upstairs, then you are doing a-okay. Thank you, Christine, for that great advice and for contributing to this podcast. I truly appreciate you. Eat a daily reminder that we are on this journey together. The More Than a Mother apparel and products line is your everyday reminder that we are mastering our mindset, owning our time, and making money moves. Head on over to lawanmoses.com forward slash shop so that you can shop the More Than a Mother line and feel inspired and motivated every day to get up, get moving, show the world that you are more than a mother. Now back to this great episode. And there you have it. This wraps up our incredibly amazing Mom Guilt series. I am so thankful to all these moms again for stopping by and lending time out of their busy schedule to contribute and give advice to their fellow moms. Here's a little recap of the great advice that our moms had to offer. Number one, grant yourself some grace. That was said in many different ways by many different moms over these past few weeks. Realize mom that you cannot do it all. You're not a superwoman and it's okay. It's okay. So we have to learn to be a little kinder and a little nicer to ourselves. Give yourself permission to take a day off. Give yourself permission to get some help from someone. And give yourself permission just to do nothing. It may feel different, it may feel awkward, but give yourself that grace, mama. Take the pressure off yourself. Be nicer to yourself, be kinder to yourself. Give yourself some grace. Number two, take care of yourself. We've heard many mamas say, you can't pour from an empty cup. You can't fill up someone else's tank when your tank is empty. It's just impossible. You have to feed your spirit, feed your soul, give yourself what you need so that you can give your best to everyone else. You can't run on empty because all you're gonna do is wear yourself into the ground. So you have to make yourself a priority. You have to take care of yourself, put your needs first, put your wants first. And guess what? It's not selfish. Well, maybe you feel you are being a little selfish, but guess what? It's okay to be selfish at times. Being selfish is not always a bad thing. Instead of looking at it as being selfish, look at it as taking the time to do something for yourself, to build yourself back up. That's not selfish. That's taking the necessary steps to make sure that you are your best self so that you can be your best self to everyone else. It's when we strengthen our sense of self that we can be strong and we can really pour into those around us. So take care of yourself so that you are able to show up as your whole self in everything that you're doing. And our third takeaway from all the great mamas is to remember that motherhood is just a piece of you. You are a woman before you were ever a mother. And now as you will forever be a mother, you will forever be a woman. 
So it's important to remember your needs, your wants, your desires as a person, independent of all of your roles, one of them being motherhood, one being someone's spouse, significant other, and the various other roles that you may play in the schools and ministry and different areas of your life. It's important to remember that you are an individual, you are a human being, and you matter as a person. You do not have to be defined by your roles. You do not have to live by your roles. It is okay to be that individual. Because before someone ever called me mom, my name was, and still is, Lawan. So as long as Lawan is taking care of herself, as long as Lawan is taking care of her womanhood and treating herself as a human being, others will fall in line and do the same. So remember, you are an individual. Motherhood does not define you. Your roles do not define you. You are more than a mother. You can pursue your dreams and be a great mother at the same time. I thank you for joining me for this Mom Guilt series. I can't wait to share with you all the great things that are coming up on the More Than A Mother podcast. Wondering what's in store for the More Than A Mother podcast? I invite you to come back next week so that you can hear all the exciting updates that we have. As always, you know, I would love for you to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Just share this podcast with all the moms, all the women, everyone you feel can benefit from the messages that we share. Motherhood is universal. Mom guilt is a universal problem. And the issues and things that we talk about is something that every mother all over the world can relate to. So be sure to subscribe, rate, and leave a review and share this with all of your friends and family and anyone that could benefit from the messages that we share. Join me next week. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, leave a review, and most importantly, share this episode with all of your mom friends. Let's continue to grow our mom community and support each other. Remember, together, we've got this.